Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back into a day in the life with the Google Pixel 2 XL. So I can tell you guys right now off the bat, uh, this is one of my favorite devices. It's one of the devices that I really, really, really wanted to have own and be able to say I used in my lifetime. And for a lot of cool reasons. Um, you know, the way that it performs today still performs pretty good. It's got the Snapdragon 835 processor chip inside of it, four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, this is a 64 gig variant. It was back in the day when 64 gigs was a thing. And uh, a 3520 milliamp hour battery powers this. So um, in 2024, well, near fall 2024, I'm going to be able to tell you guys uh, how it performs now. Uh, being that it's still on stock Android, this is a Verizon variant, so I can't unlock the bootloader. And I'm unable to uh, flash any custom ROMs on this to bring it up to life. If I find another one anywhere that you know I can grab that it has the bootloader unlocked, and definitely I will flash custom ROMs on this if there's any out there that brings it up to Android 14. But none that I've seen so far, except for Lineage, I think is the only one. But anyways, so let's go through my day with the Google Pixel 2 XL. Just dropped my kid off to the bus stop. So let's go. Uh, so I can tell you guys... Um... <clears throat> couple things here one it's got a very thin profile to it that's one thing that i really like and actually with the uh pixel 2 xl this is probably one of the only devices that i you know have enjoyed that does have a slightly curved display and it's got a chamfered side so a little flat on the actual side but kind of chamfered around the you know the sides of it and it's got a fingerprint sensor on the back of it for those so no end display and um, yeah, it's a uh, LTE only, but right now it's connected to my Wi-Fi. So let me just take it off. We'll do a quick speed test, and you guys can see what it's gonna do on, um, you know, AT and T with Boost Infinite or Boost Mobile. So uh, well, let's go. Uh, so that ended off with uh, 48.4 on the down and 9.99 on the up. The ping was 33, uh, 809 on the loaded um, ping for download, and 616 on the upload and 13 on the jitter. So gives you an idea. It's an older device, so I don't expect it to be pulling anything, you know, higher uh, with a older modem on the Snapdragon 835. But anyways, yeah, that's uh, decent speeds. So one thing with the Snapdragon 835 and 4 gigabytes of RAM is that I can still get my game on when it comes to the Pixel 2 XL. The device, being as old as it is, still amazes me just how well it performs and functions. Now, is it going to perform like a Galaxy S24, Pixel 9, or iPhone 16? No, it's not, realistically. But when you compare it to other brands, and their older flagships that came out around the same time as the Pixel 2 XL. And you'll finally get what I'm talking about when I say that this phone is great and amazing. You know, I would expect it to have so much lag and so much jank and jitter. And that's just not the case when it comes to the Pixel 2 XL, which is what I can appreciate. The fact is, is that the experience is really good. Even when gaming, such as playing Pokemon Go, the audio just blasts right at me with those dual foot five speakers, which is something that I miss in current pixels today. But I mean, hey, you know, I'm just one person of the masses. Some will agree and some will disagree. But on this notion, I will say this, that if anyone wants to pick up a Pixel 2 XL and just use it and actually use the thing, you would be so just as surprised as I am on how well it still performs today. All right, so we're sitting at, it's like 9.14 a.m. We're sitting at 64% battery life left on a Pixel 2 XL. I expected a rapid drop only because the battery capacity is no longer at 100%, right? It's probably that 81%. You know, this is a very old device, 2019, well, 2018 actually. So, yeah, just a little battery update on how the Pixel 2 XL is doing. Hey folks, it's 11.51 p.m. And um, we are currently sitting at... Uh, let's see, 41%, 41% battery. So the battery is dropping exponentially um, throughout the morning that I've been using it. And 
yeah, so getting one day battery, probably not likely. Um, especially for, you know, how old and how much time I've used this device, but let's go ahead and do a speed test. We're inside a parking structure and I want to test out how the antennas do and the modem. So we'll do a speed test right now. All right. Um, so the phone is considerably warm, but let's go. Let's see if we can get this speed test. It's pretty hot today. So even, uh, even my other device is warning me that it, no device is too hot. So one thing that I will definitely say with the Pixel 2 XL, and I think a lot of people agree with me when it comes down to this, that uh, this is probably one of the best built um, Google Pixels before the Pixel 9. I know a lot of people are now on the Pixel 9 being the best built, but this held that crown for a while. This was king when it came to basically body design and structure. So, um, you know, it's pretty cool to uh, see that, you know, it's still operational today. You can still use this for just about anything, including your main daily driver device, if you so choose to. Um, I would say it's still capable. Only thing is, is that if you have a Verizon version, you can't do any modifications to it to bring it up to Android 14. So you are stuck on Android 11. But Android 11 is still pretty smooth and buttery and, uh, you know, even even bigger on that is the fact that um, I think a lot of people still prefer this version of uh, Android just because of like the quick settings and everything like that. Uh, people kind of like this over the pill shape that's in the current uh, Android 13, 14, and 15. Well, it started in Android 12. Android 12 was a big UI shift to Material U UI. And uh, yeah, Pixel 2 XL kind of missed out on that. Unless you have the fully unlocked version and then you could flash any custom ROM to bring it to that point. And I would say, you know, with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, it should still run smooth if you put a custom ROM on it. All right. It's almost 9 p.m. Uh, work's done for today. And I already took my SIM out of the Pixel 2 XL and put it back in my iPhone 12. But let me just close off this video by saying this. Um, it is still a phenomenal device. Especially if you have the unlock variant, because you can always put a custom ROM on it to get it to as close as modern as possible. However, I happen to um, end up getting a Verizon variant, and so therefore the bootloader cannot be unlocked. There's no negotiating with Verizon to unlock it, which is something that I feel that Verizon should do. Once these devices are paid off and, you know, there's not a balance owed on them, they're not blacklisted, you know, for non-payment and stuff like that, I honestly feel like that they should at least allow Google to unlock the bootloader or at least uh, when they sim unlock it, also kind of like have it update and take off the Verizon specific variant, um, you know, software and install the native unlocked Google software. Yes, the software out here is Google, but it has, it, it has a special Verizon lock to the lock bootloader. Um, and so, like, that's the only thing that really hurts my particular device because I would love to have this thing, like, on Android 13 or even Android 14 if there's a custom ROM built with Android 14 for the Pixel 2 XL. But like I said, you know, this device was probably the most popular Google Pixel ever built. And on top of that, um, until the Pixel 9 released, was the one given the crown of best built Pixel. So Pixel 9 took that. <laughs> But nonetheless, though, it still goes to show you just, you know, an older Pixel device still can bang with the best of them out there. It's still smooth. It's still responsive. I mean, most devices this old would really start to show their their lag. Uh, as far as battery performance, obviously, I've never did a battery swap on it. So it has the original battery day one out of the box. So uh, it's pretty obvious that you know, the battery is not the best. That's probably the one thing that's hurting my Pixel 2 XL experience is just the battery life compared to what I have today, like the, the Pixel 8a and stuff. I'm really spoiled to the battery life on it that um, using the Pixel 2 XL and I can see the battery dying pretty quickly, almost as quickly as my Pixel 4 does, um, which is strange. But that's just, you know, a day in the life with my Pixel 2 XL. What are your guys' thoughts? Leave your comments in the comment section of the video, questions you may have, emotional outbursts. Um, like I said, I took the SIM out of there. It's back on the iPhone 12. And I got to go to bed because I got to get up early. So 
I'll talk to you on the next one. Law.